momentum and force of impact. So getting back to the uh, example of the water balloon drop and the animation of that, uh, you notice that when a water balloon uh, hits the ground, there's a very noticeable squash on the impact, even with uh, with each bounce. So, uh, and we see a noticeable uh, squash on impact uh, also in uh, characters. So let's. Someone's passed out drunk. Somebody else goes. Come on, man. Look at this. Uh, Wake up. Adam's feeling no pain. From a, that's about to change. It's from a Myth Mythbusters episode. Oh. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> We'll see this in slow motion Holy bleeping, bleep, here. Bleep, bleep. Just a second. Can I do that again? That was kind of fun. No, that made my head ring. It definitely took my mind off feeling crappy and drunk. So you see, it almost looks like but a water balloon uh, it's like on his face. You feel hurt, you drink a little alcohol. Now, to understand the force of impact, uh, it's helpful to understand the concept of momentum. So. Uh, an object that is moving, so it has a certain speed or velocity, if you will, uh, has momentum. Now, the amount of momentum of an object depends on not just how fast it's going, but whether it has a large mass or a small mass. You can think about it as uh, being related to the weight of the object. So. Uh, Something like a bullet has a large momentum mostly due to its high velocity uh, because it doesn't weigh very much. On the other hand, a rugby player, even though uh, he's not uh, moving nearly as fast as a bullet, uh, he may actually have more momentum than the bullet simply because uh, he is uh, so much more massive. He weighs uh, so much more. Now, to stop an object that has a large amount of momentum either requires applying a large force, in which case the object will stop quickly, or applying a small force for a much longer time. So uh, in general, changing an object's momentum depends on both the uh, force and the time interval over which that force is acting on the object. Now, let's see a demonstration uh, that illustrates uh, this principle. So uh, my friend here is going to hammer a brass stake into my chest. Now, I should point out the brass stake is very heavy. So even though the stake has a relatively low velocity, it still has a large amount of momentum, momentum because it's quite massive. It's, it's very heavy, uh, probably about 10, 12 pounds. So let's uh, watch that. Now, first, uh, I have a ceramic tile on my chest. Okay. Yeah. You see how the uh, uh -huh. that hammering uh, cracked it? Now we'll just do it with uh, Right on my. Okay, so uh, in this uh, demonstration, when the ceramic tile is on my chest, uh, the brass stake is stopped quickly, which means uh, the force that has to stop it is large, and so that large force of impact uh, shatters the. Uh, the ceramic tile. On the other hand, when it is being hammered into my chest, it uh, stops uh, much uh, more slowly. Um, and because it stops much more slowly, only a small force is uh, required. Uh, in fact, most of that force is just from the friction of the stake uh, sitting on the palm of my hand. Uh, and a way of doing this demonstration that would not be safe would be if instead of putting it on uh, the soft part of my chest, I put it on my skull, then it would be like the ceramic tile. The 
a stake would have to stop quickly because it would be on the bone and then the force again would be would be large. Uh, let's look at another demonstration that illustrates the connection between uh, momentum and force of impact, especially the time of impact. So in this case we're going to throw a raw egg as fast as possible at a loosely held bed sheet. So let's see this demonstration. Two, one, action. One last throw. Three, two, one, action. And you see that it's uh, it is a raw egg. So, in this case, when uh, the egg is thrown at the sheet, uh, it takes a longer time uh, to bring the egg to a stop. If you go frame by frame, you see that it actually stops in a, a couple of frames. Uh, so, because the time of impact is longer, the force of impact is smaller. Uh, on the other hand, when I finish by dropping the egg on the floor. Of course, it has to stop immediately, so the time of impact is very small. So the force of impact is larger, and that's um, enough to uh, break the egg. Uh, this uh, principle that uh, maximizing the time of impact will minimize the force of impact is the idea behind uh, uh, seat belts, airbags crumple zones, uh, so forth, for automobile safety. Now, uh, in animation, uh, squash and stretch is often used to make an impact less uh, visually jarring by extending the time of impact in a believable way. That may be a cartoony uh, uh, extension by squash and stretch, but it still uh, feels uh, believable within the context of being cartoony. Uh, the more realistic impact, uh, say for a baseball, happens so uh, suddenly that it can be somewhat um, jarring when you see it uh, on screen. Here's uh, an example from a character. Uh, you see uh, Dubois here uh, jumping and uh, landing, and if we examine uh, the squash and stretch that she does on the landing, so she's uh, stretched out in a uh, pose that anticipates the landing, and this allows an extended squash. Uh, here the rig is not being deformed significantly, most of the squash and stretches occurring just from the bending of her knees, much in the same way as Luxo Jr. Um, squashes and stretches by uh, a hinging joint. So here, uh, having this squash and stretch uh, makes that impact uh, less jarring and the uh, animation more uh, fluid. So in uh, summary, the momentum of an object depends on its uh, velocity and its weight, or more precisely its mass. To stop an object with a large momentum requires either a large force applied quickly or a small force applied uh, more slowly. So we saw that both in the vampire steak demo and in the egg throw demo. When an impact occurs quickly, it can be uh, visually jarring since the force of impact uh, would be large if uh, the impact occurs quickly. Uh, so for that purpose, squash and stretch is useful to uh, soften the impact in a way that uh, appears natural. So hopefully that explains uh, some of the principles of uh, using squash and stretch, especially for impact.